years ago, some friends of mine were hiking in a secluded canyon in northern Arizona. They lost the trail and it got dark faster than they had anticipated. Because they were on the rim of the canyon, they worried they might accidentally wander off a cliff, so they hunkered down for a very cold and uncomfortable night until they could make their way out in the sunlight the next morning. Since they had not come home, loved ones called out search and rescue to try to find them, which they're not able to do in the dark. After this incident, I encouraged them to get an in-reach satellite communicator for their off-the-grid treks. They don't go anywhere without one now. I've been using the in-reach communicators since they were made by DeLorme, and when Garmin bought them and came out with the Mini, I was one of the earliest adopters. I frequently get into dangerous activities far off the beaten path where there's no cell service. Sometimes I'm gone for a day, other times I may be gone for weeks. With my in-reach, I can check in with the family to let them know that I'm okay, hear the latest news, arrange to move my pickup location, or ask for resupply. Or I can provide real-time tracking of my location shared with friends or on social media. I can even hit the SOS button to be connected to the Garmin Response Center 24 hours a day, seven days a week from anywhere on the planet that has a view of the sky. These lifesavers have supported more than 10,000 rescues worldwide by connecting you to the local rescue organizations and providing pinpoint accuracy to your location. The Garmin InReach Mini 2 is a communication device, a GPS tractor and navigation aid, and a lifeline, all in one tiny little package. The Mini 2 is designed to work with your smartphone to provide maps, tracking, navigation, and texting. It can work by itself on the very small black and white screen, but that interface is not easy or convenient to use. That's really designed as a backup in case your phone bites the dust and you need those functions. It really works best when paired with your smartphone through either the Explorer or Messenger apps that are free to download from Garmin. If you want all of that functionality in one standalone device, I suggest that you look into the Garmin InReach GPS Map 66i. One downside to the Mini is that it is small, so small that I lost mine a couple of years back and have been using my 66i exclusively. The upside is that it's small and lightweight at just 3.5 ounces and takes up very little room. It was no issue whatsoever to transfer my annual subscription between whichever device I wanted to use for a particular excursion. All of the InReach products do require a subscription to use, but there are a variety of different plans that provide limited communication or unlimited communication, depending on how frequently you will need to use it. The Mini 2 offers some features over the original Mini. First is battery life. The Mini 2 has a larger capacity. It's hard to say how long the Mini 2 will last, as battery life is a factor of how often the device connects to the satellites, how many tracks you're inputting, and how much you communicate with it. You can set the frequency of connection to every 5 minutes or every 30 minutes or anywhere in between. The more frequently it connects to the satellite, the faster the battery will drain. It will still last anywhere from days to weeks on a charge. But just in case I need to make a lot of text, say in an emergency rescue, I always carry a solar rechargeable battery that I can use to recharge it. The Mini 2 is also USB Type-C now, so it can charge faster with a larger wattage power plug. This also allows it to connect to your computer for firmware upgrades and to quickly download tracking data and upload maps. Both of these can be done wirelessly through your smartphone, but it's much faster with a computer and a USB-C cable. I've taken my Mini on wild excursions deep into water-filled canyons, repelling hundreds of feet and wading through ice-filled pools. The IPX7 rating means that it will withstand being submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes without any damage. Plenty stout enough for a quick dip in a pool. It has been on my pack as we drop them off 20-foot drops and slide them down ropes and it's received a few minute scratches, but nothing that interferes with its functionality. Not only is the Mini 2 a great communications tool, but it's also a stellar navigation aid. You can load up to 1,000 waypoints, 100 courses, and 200 activities into the device, and they're ready for recall at your fingertips on the device's built-in 0.9 by 0.9 inch black and white TFT screen, or on your smartphone in color and with more detail. You can easily mark where you've parked so that you can make your way back in the dark, or plan out a course and let the Mini 2 guide you all along the way. My favorite use is to let it track my latest excursion so I can track how many miles I've hiked each year and each trip. The Garmin InReach Mini 2 is my go-to device for navigation and communication off the beaten path if I'm taking along my smartphone. In this day and age, who goes anywhere without your phone? 
As I mentioned, if for some reason I want to leave my phone in the truck, then I take my GPS Map 66i and I transfer my subscription to that for the duration of that trip. There are so many features on this device that they can't all be covered in this short video. So if you travel far away from civilization and want to still be able to check in with your loved ones and have a safety net that can get help to you anywhere on the planet, then I suggest that you check out the Garmin InReach Mini 2 and all of the satellite communications devices at your local Sportsman's Warehouse store or online at sportsmans.com.